Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about ternary conditional expressions. And so what this is, is we're going to be creating uh, a one-lined if-else statement. Okay, so instead of like setting our variable equal to something or a condition, a boolean asking for a condition, and then returning this if that, if not else this, what we're going to do is we're just going to do it all in one line. For this particular one, we're just going to print something out if this first condition is true. So if five is greater than three, of three. There we go. Now here, we're just gonna use the question mark right there. So we're asking, you know, we're telling PHP is this. So that's the first expression right here. Five is greater than three. So what we'll write is we'll write yes here. And then we're just gonna do a colon here and we're gonna write no. And so what will happen is, is if this first expression is true, the second expression is returned. If it's false, the third expression, right? This first, second, third, okay? That's where the ternary comes in. So now we're gonna save this. I'm just gonna run it. And you'll see that yes was returned because this condition was true. So if we come up here and I change that to seven and I run this again, you'll see that no was returned. Now let's create a variable now. So I'll just leave that up there if you're still doing it. Um, we're going to set this equal to age, and we'll just we'll have age be uh, let's just do 27 here, okay? And now what we'll do is we're going to set a bracket like an age bracket. So we'll do age range here. Uh, I don't want to use the word keyword range. So we'll do age group. is equal to, and this is where we'll create a ternary conditional expression. And what that means is we're just going to uh, set age here. So if age, there we go, I'm gonna set it, but if age is greater than uh, 18, right? And we're gonna come out here and we'll ask the question, we'll set uh, age group equal to, let's do adult because that's what an adult is in the US. And then we'll do our colon here, and otherwise we'll do a minor. Okay, for minor. So come down here and just print out age group. Now you wouldn't necessarily need to print out your variable, but basically we're, you know, in a program you would be setting this age group into a particular, uh, just, you know, the variable that we'd be storing it. But here we're just gonna print it out because we wanna see that it is what we intend it to be. So no is returned because we didn't comment this out. So you'll see adult was returned here, okay? So we've set this variable age group to the whatever the resulting condition is here. So age is greater than 18, it will be an adult. You can see here age is indeed greater than 18. So if we come up here, change this to 16, we hit save, we run it, you'll see that age group is now set to a minor. Okay? All right, guys, I think that's it for today. Don't forget that you can get the PHP book for free if you sign up to the mailing list. At the beginning of each month, I will send out an email to all my new subscribers where they can get a link to get the book for free. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like the video, and thanks for watching. We'll talk to you in the next one.